All right. Now that was pretty close. Right towards the end of the binary, market moved up, um, came up close to the line, and um, didn't end above, but it did get close. It happens. It does happen. Um, the timing on that particular trade, you know, this is something that we actually do our best to look out for, you know, in spite of everything that we do as far as preventing, you know, scenarios and situations that could potentially call, cause us to lose. In spite of all that, the potential, of course, is always there because we're dealing with the market, but for the most part, that's not something that we typically have to be concerned about. But you did get an opportunity right there to see what the market is capable of doing. But in any case, got the win. So that actually represents trade number 16. So this video will be released, excuse me, in week number 16. This is actually Cinco de Mayo. Today is uh, May 5th. 2020 time right now is about 9 uh, 9 16 p.m eastern standard time so um market did set up the environment the the behavior i was confident you know with what i was able to um see that the market was doing and took advantage of the trade so again you can't control what the market actually does. You can't control what it does after you get into a trade. You know, the best thing that you can do at all times is just stick to what you're trained to do and just wait for the market to deliver. So, you know, that's a, a perfect example. I, I'm actually glad that you get a chance to see different scenarios and examples of what the market does and how, you know, you can still, in spite of what the market might end up doing, because of the way that you are trained to observe the market, there are certain things that are in place that ultimately still prevent losing situations from taking place. So that was an example of one right there. Um, you know, but these are things that you learn as you train. These are things that you learn over time as you observe and as you gain more experience in the market um you know and it is what it is it is what it is so the fact that you're learning in perpetuity myself included you know i don't know everything and i don't claim to but what i do know is that i'm confident in my ability to interpret what the market is presenting to me at the time and that's always what I'm going to be relying on. I'm going to rely on my ability to interpret and to allow the market to dictate what goes on, period. So the market's never wrong. The market does what it wants. And the fact that we always accept that always keeps us on the right path as far as taking trades that end in profit. So bottom line is, you know, we're not scared to take trades. You know, I wasn't scared to enter that trade when it set up just now. I took the trade. The fact that it, you know, um, did do something towards the end. Like I said, you don't have control over everything that goes on in the market. As a matter of fact, you don't have control over anything that goes on in the market. So you literally just have to accept the fact that the market does what it wants to do. But that still for us means and represents that we're able to determine when the right time to be present actually is. So in spite of what the market might decide to do, because the time was right, we still end up winning trades. So yes, you will have, you know, situations just like the one that you just saw, you know, where it might come close, but for the most part, we don't really run into that, to be honest with you. You know, the majority, I would say 99% of the time when we take a trade, it's a clear winner. You know, it doesn't, it comes nowhere close where you have to wonder about whether you won or not. And the bottom line is that, you know, whatever the outcome is, um, 
your confidence in what you've, you know, believe that you're doing as far as interpretation of the market, that has everything to do with your ability to do this long term. So it's not about, oh man, you know, that was a good trade. It it has nothing ultimately to do with whether or not it was a good trade. It has way more to do with whether or not it was the right time. And I can't reiterate that enough, you know. So that you know, these are things really that you learn as you train. And training is what elevates your understanding of what I just said. It really does take it up a notch. You know, so it is what it is, like I said. But again, we got it. We got the win, so we're on to the next one. So that puts us right here where you see. Uh, the 1630 balance, the actual balance in the account is 1643. So we right around 13 bucks above the balance from the spreadsheet, which is cool. That represented trade number 16. So on the next trade, I'll be scaled up to 20 contracts. And uh, the next trade will be number 17. So more than likely, that'll be next week. You know, I know that I actually ended up taking two trades this week, but like I said, the videos will, be, you know, uh, the videos will be released one week at a time. So even though this trade just now was taken in the same week as the last one, it's going to be released the following week. So by the time that you actually see the video, it'll be the next week. It won't be the same week. All right. So I'll be releasing this over a period of 30 weeks altogether. All right. All right, y'all. So I will see you guys on the next trade. I will see you guys next week, quote unquote. <laughs> you know who it is. Mark Fuller, Team Alliance, Slow and Steady Project. And that's all I got for you right now. All right. Peace.